Hello, welcome back to GOT. Today, we're going to talk about the Mac Mini once again, and we're going to compare it to the PC in rendering video. We're going to use Premiere Pro to do this and reveal the surprising truth about which one is faster and whether we can really confirm that the Mac Mini M4 is the budget PC for creators. Stick with me. Now, last time I gave you a first impression where you opened up the program Premiere Pro just to see how quickly they work. And from my first impression, the Mac Mini M4 actually was really smooth and opening up everything. It was very quick. It's faster than my PC. Now, my PC is a i7 12th generation Intel processor with a dedicated graphics card that actually has six gigabytes of RAM built into it. And then the PC itself has 32 gigs of RAM, whereas the Mac Mini is your base model Mac Mini M4 with 16 gigs of RAM. So on paper, there's quite a big chasm, a difference between the two. So real quickly, I wanna say I didn't change any special settings on the Mac or the PC for Premiere Pro. I left everything pretty much standard with the exception of on the PC, I did have to tell it to render using the PC video card for faster rendering, but that's not an advantage because the Mac has their video card built into the CPU, so it does it automatically. Now, when opening up the program on both PC and Mac, they're pretty close. The Mac is a little bit faster in opening up Premiere Pro, but it's faster in general opening up anything, I guess because it's integrated system. And the fact that the GPU is built into the CPU inside the M4 chip. Now, the initial setup, bringing files in on either one, it's pretty much the same. You just bring them in and you just drag them over to the timeline and get started that way. So it's all the same. And then one of the things that I wanted to test is transcribing the dialogue in the video. Because what you can do with Premiere Pro is you can actually get it to transcribe. Then you can actually edit the video through the transcription. So I got the video ready on both of them to transcribe. So just hit the transcribe button, got a timer. We'll check it out on both at the same time. Here we go. And I'll go ahead and speed through all these tests so you don't have to sit there and wait the whole length of time that I did because some of them were pretty long. So on this transcription, you can see here, the Mac did it in about half the time of the PC. The PC took, what, a minute and two, and the Mac did it in 27 seconds. So that's actually less than half the time. That's fast. Now, when you got a lot to edit on a video, just a few seconds really does help. Now, after doing this, it makes it real simple to edit via the text dialogue. So all you do is you just cut out what you don't want, and the program will automatically will ripple effect and close in the gap. It makes it real quick, precise, and neat. Hey, I want to take a quick second and thank you for tuning into the channel. And if you're still with me, please click that like button down below. It does really help out the channel. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Back to the video. Now, the next step in my video processing is I'll add maybe a transition or two. Here, for example, I'm going to add a page turn where you just slide this in here right where you want it. And you can actually adjust the length of this page turn. I like to go two or three seconds. And then as you can see here, you do a playback, see that it's nice and smooth. Now, typically the PC has trouble and struggles with this and it'll skip and go slow. This time it didn't, it was nice and smooth, it's nice smooth playback, just like the Mac mini, which doesn't seem to have any issues whenever I add in edits of, or graphics of this type. Now, anytime you add a graphic or, or edit anything, you have to render it to make everything run smoothly. And I tested out rendering on this. And as you can see on the Mac, it rendered this page turn really quick and the PC took a little bit longer. As a matter of fact, took about three times longer than the Mac did. Yeah, now I know six seconds in the big picture doesn't seem like much, but you know what? This is just one edit. There are many that are done in each video. So you add those up, it gets big. Now, once you render a clip, everything moves real smoothly through it. Before that, the PC struggles when moving through the timeline. You see it's skipping whereas the Mac is really smooth through the timeline. This is even before rendering. Now for this test, I decided to go ahead and just render all the clips before I did much editing, just to see the speed between the two and what they do. And you can see here, the PC really takes off and moves fast. And it does that rendering rather quickly. It did it all in two minutes and 35 seconds, where you see the Mac Mini is still doing this initial rendering. And it's at seven minutes and 44 seconds. That's a huge difference. Now, five minutes and about 10 seconds is a big measurable time. Now, this is just in the beginning when I first did it. So to be transparent, this is a seven minute process I really didn't need to do on the Mac. So I could have saved that time and just processed it all at the end. So now next with both of them, I add in a bunch of effects. First thing I do is my intro here. I add that in 
and play it through. Now, after I did that, I went ahead and did an immediate playback just so you could see without rendering. And as you can see, they both do okay, but then partway through, they start to struggle. But then the Mac Mini clears it up and begins to run smoothly, where the PC actually never does clear up. It staggers all the way through for the next several minutes, unless I go ahead and render that out. But as you can see here, just rendering out that first bit, the Mac actually did that a lot faster. So what we're seeing here so far is rendering out effects individually, the Mac is just so much faster and more efficient than the PC. So now we're gonna go ahead and put in a bunch of graphics and special effects just to see how they both perform in comparison. Now that they're all added, we're gonna go ahead and render it, update, render with these special effects. Now check it out, the PC again, it renders quite a bit faster and it beats the Mac. The PC renders everything just under a minute or it takes a minute and a half on the Mac. Now, after you're done editing everything and fine tune everything, now it's time to go ahead and just export the video. And when you export it, you can see here between the two, the PC again beats the Mac in speed, raw speed in exporting the video. The PC doing it at just over five minutes and the Mac nearly seven minutes. And remember this video is, is less than seven minutes. So it's almost as though the Mac mini M4 exports at real time. Now I wanted to show you all this because I wanted you to see the truth and see the true value on using a Mac mini to do your editing or not. Because I bought the Mac mini M4 simply by watching other videos and hearing everybody talk about how fast it is and smooth it is and how you can cut your editing time in half. Well, my experience, that's not quite so. It did do it a little bit faster in areas, and overall, it was a much smoother experience than on the PC. And I enjoyed it more because I didn't have glitches, which we didn't talk about on the PC. There's glitches, there's snags all the time. Whenever you're editing, something happens, it slows you up. The Mac Mini didn't have any of that. It was nice and smooth the whole way. So in real time, editing and processing a video, I believe I did save a lot more time using the Mac, even when comparing the exporting and the rendering time that the PC did do a little bit faster. So is there truth that the Mac Mini will cut your time in half when doing video editing and speed things up? No, not so much, but it does make things a little smoother. So am I gonna keep the Mac Mini to continue working on it? Yes, I will, because I do like how smooth it is. I like how portable it is, as I can actually take this little box with me on a trip, hook it up to a HDMI TV, or even take a little portable monitor with me, and I've got the full power processing on the go. And when you compare the cost of the Mac Mini M4 base model of $599 versus a PC of its equal capabilities, it's probably closer to $1,000. So the Mac Mini does make financial sense as well. Now I wanna hear from you. Do you use a PC or a Mac? What is your favorite editing tool? Which program do you like to use, whether video or photos? So let me know down in the comments. And I also, while you're down there, go ahead and let me know any tips or tricks you might have for the Mac because I'm new getting back into the Mac, so I have a lot to learn. So anything you can share with me is much appreciated. I hope this video has been revealing to you and you got something out of it. If you did, please smash that like button down below. It really does help out the channel. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more GOT good old tech news, tips, or tricks. And don't forget to follow us on our social medias where we leave tips and tricks and news as well. Thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, God bless.